Today we talk about garbage recycling and the space technologies. Garbage always comes out in our daily lives. From plastic containers to packaging wraps, cardboard boxes, food waste and so on. Japan has a culture of wrapping, so the packaging is amazing. From the point of view of foreign culture, it seems nothing but excessive packaging. For example, rice crackers and sweets are individually wrapped in a plastic bag to protect against moisture. And I was surprised to find that high-end items even contain the silicon gel. I'm not saying that it's good or bad, but there is no doubt that the amount of waste material will increase. Batteries and paint cans are non-recyclable and highly toxic, even in landfills, causing pollution. Blood-stained medical wastes are also troublesome. There is a growing movement in recycling glass bottles, cans, and pet bottles, and reuse of clothing and furniture as second-hand items. However, I also hear that recycling costs more, that additional chemicals are added to the process, and that heat treatment uses energy generated using fossil fuels that puts the cart before the horse. With the technology of today's consumer-oriented society, combustible waste can be disposed at the temperature of 1,300 degrees Celsius or higher without generating dioxin. However, the technology that already exists in the universe enables to decompose materials to sort of elementary particles or although there is no term to express it on the earth yet to the state of beyond quantum particles smaller than quarks we'll talk about that later but let's take a look at some of the december 2021 creative society forum to get a better understanding of what's really going on when it comes to garbage disposal and recycling garbage Recycling. Does recycling really exist? Every year we throw out more than 2 billion tons of waste. Most of the waste products in the form we throw them out are not biodegradable and cannot be properly recycled. They poison our water, air, food and our life. India. Gazipur, a dump that is growing inexorably day by day and is already reaching almost the height of the Taj Mahal. During monsoon seasons, gases build up inside the landfill due to the accumulation of waste. These gases are then released into the air. Mosquitoes breed in accumulated waste and then bite people in the colony, leaving them with diseases like dengue, malaria and typhoid. Jakarta, the bank of the Sitaram River. There are more than 200 textile factories that produce cheap clothes for the whole world. 20,000 tons of waste and 340 tons of wastewater are discharged into the river every day. They pollute the river with lead, aluminum, iron and manganese. According to the World Bank's report, what a waste 2.0 Plastic, paper and cardboard, metal and glass make up 38% of municipal waste and only 13.5% of the secondary raw material is actually recycled all over the world, which is a little more than 5% of the total amount of garbage. Despite this, our production and consumption rates are only growing, as well as the landfills around us. Let's take pet plastic. Freshly made, it costs around 500 euros per ton. Recycled plastic, around 1,000 euros. And recycled ocean plastic is even more expensive. It is not at all profitable for a manufacturer to make the cost of the product twice as high. Moreover, under conditions of fierce competition, his product becomes unprofitable. Plastic recyclers even go so far as to add a greater part of the new plastic to the recycled plastic and sell it under the label Recycled. The declared data on waste recycling often differ from the real picture. 
For example, in Germany, part of the garbage that is considered recycled goes to landfills in third world countries. The situation is similar in Japan. The percentage of recycled plastic also includes that which was simply burned. So what do we consider to be recycled garbage? The one that got into the clouds and became our air and then returned to our food with the rain and water. Garbage is the rotting face of the consumerist format of society. We are killing the planet with it, and what's even more, we are killing ourselves. It is not profitable for us to recycle garbage. We don't benefit from developing technology that would clean up our planet. But is it really us who do not benefit, or the consumerist economy, which we ourselves have placed above human life. Actually, my friends and I are volunteers who run a non-profit wellness center in the Philippines. A few years ago, we visited a garbage dump in Tondo, Manila. There used to be a mountain of garbage called Smoky Mountain. Right now, there is a large garbage dump in a corner by the sea. And when we were about to drive through the entrance, the security staff hurried and shouted, Hey, what are you doing? You cannot enter here. In very angry manner. At that time, I wondered, why are they so desperate to expel us? But recently, I finally understood the reason after watching the video of the Creative Society Forum. It was explained that there is a so-called garbage mafia and that garbage is a treasure. Let's watch the video here. The Garbage Mafia How does a garbage mafia operate? An important part of the garbage mafia's business is the illegal transportation of industrial waste. If a company wants to get rid of its toxic waste and pay as little as possible, it hands over the waste to the mafia. And instead of being disposed in a proper yet expensive way, this waste is hauled away and then disappears. An average landfill can produce about 150 to 200 tons of film each month. We don't buy it at high prices, i.e. it's in the region of 13 to 19 cents per kilogram. Accordingly, you can multiply that same 100 tons by 13 cents. We'll take the minimum. Well, that's the profit only from polymers. Waste paper is now trading at around 20 to 27 cents per kilogram. Precious ferrous and non-ferrous metals are even more expensive. That's why people are like sitting on a gold mine there. Yes. Well, no wonder it's called the garbage mafia. You can't just get in. There is a huge income and people will never give it up for anything. Because these people are sitting on a pot of gold. Getting permission to use this land for a garbage landfill is extremely difficult. If we establish some serious organization, serious landfill, put the right equipment on it for sorting and all that, then I think we will quickly be visited by bad Bad people and some inspections. My friends at one time bought an incinerator. They operated it for three months. Then men came in black jeeps and simply forbade them to work by threats and intimidation or something else. They just took over this garbage plant and that's it. And my friends washed their hands of it and said, that's it, we will never get into this business again. Garbage migrates from one country to another, poisoning the lives of millions of people. And all this happens in the shadow of private agreements. No morals, no ethics, purely business. Indonesia. In 2018, imports of plastic into this country totaled 283,000 metric tons. The distance between the landfill to my house is about 500 meters. My whole family, my relatives, Everyone is affected by the noise and smells. 60 to 70 containers arrive illegally every night in the city of Brunking in Indonesia alone. Garbage, which is then found in landfills, is brought in from Australia, Germany, and the United States. 
Most of the time, it is sorted plastic mixed with hazardous waste. Malaysia, the once beautiful country, is now covered in mountains of garbage and dozens of illegal incinerators. Manufacturing companies in Japan, the United States, Germany, and Australia is bringing their refuse to Malaysia. My daughter was a very healthy girl. Since April, she started having a fever. Her state worsened, and she started spitting up blood. Most owners of illegal factories rent land from the local residents and build primitive ovens where they dispose of garbage for money, with no concern for the environment or the people who live nearby. So this is a real story from a real experience. Next to the Tondo garbage dump, there is a poor neighborhood where families of people who seem to have permissions to scavenge garbage live. There are children running around barefoot in the sludge. Even when I got home, the smell of sludge stuck to my hair and even after I washed my hair, the smell didn't go away for a while. It can be said that this is the consequence of the consumer format of society. But is there a solution? The Creative Society has introduced amazing technology for waste recycling. First, waste materials are broken down into finer particles than elementary particles. In other words, to the smallest particles that compose matter. Garbage then becomes a resource material for making other substances. Not only is garbage not wasted at all, but plastics have the most potential elements that can be used to construct various kinds of materials at the beyond quantum level. At the forum in April 2023, the mechanism that can manipulate matter at the beyond quantum level is explained in a, an easy to understand manner using the analogy of snakes. You will understand that this seemingly empty space is actually filled with full of energy without gaps. The energy compared to snakes formed in linear state is at the beyond quantum level and invisible. However, when the snakes become a tangled coil state, the energy becomes visible and manifests at the quantum level where materialization occurs. Please watch the video from the April 2023 forum for more details. By the way, E equals mc square is the formula that Einstein provided that energy is proportional to matter. Actually, in the Heart Sutra of Buddhism, the materialization is properly explained. Color is void. Void is color. Here, color refers to the material world and void refers to the invisible world, filled with energy. They all mean that all energy, including consciousness and thoughts, constitutes matter, and matter returns to energy. I might have further confused you, but the replicator and the recycler introduced in creative society apply this principle. Recycler not only eliminates garbage, but also frees us from odious chores such as washing and garbage disposal. It decomposes waste materials into elemental particles and stores them as raw material for materialization. Replicator manipulates and quantizes the raw materials stored by recycler that are snakes in the compressed coil state and can create all kinds of substances from smartphones to clothes and food. It's like a 3D printer that uses elementary particles as a raw material. These technologies already exist in space but have not yet been brought to Earth. As I mentioned before, in today's consumer-oriented society, they can be misused as weapons or fallen into the wrong hands that seek worldly domination. Therefore, it will not come out unless the level of consciousness of mankind reaches a certain level. 
but now the Earth is facing a planetary scale devastating crisis in a 12,000 year catastrophic cycle. That's why the climate disasters are endlessly happening everywhere now. That is the reason why the Creative Society has released the Beyond Quantum Theory so that all the scientists tackle to solve this climate crisis, despite the risk of being misused. When I saw it on the forums in April 2023, I was worried that, is it okay to publish this? But perhaps this is my imagination, but I feel that the space civilization has already prepared to protect our civilization and the planet in case that the technology is misused. So I don't think you should worry about it too much either. However, as human beings, we need to do our best to help ourselves. If we do nothing and continue doing the same thing as before, we will only be exterminated by a catastrophe. The future of the planet and humanity depends on the determination and courage of each and every one of us. The energy of us who unite and act, believing that the creative society can be built, will change the world. Everything starts from within. Today, it was at a game from Lanikai Beach, Kailua, Hawaii.